Two, three, let it go. This may be the hottest song that I ever wrote. I'm not twisted, but I'm likely to overdose when I start spitting that Midwest tongue twist. I came a long way from doing dumb, chasing dreams and things I really didn't mean. So this is a celebration of God's patience. Cause man, I tell you I need it. Thank you for the situation I'm in. For let me fall in with my friends. My brothers, my sisters, my kin. You have a good time while well, I'm in. I'm so amped up cause I've been a slave in my sin. But now I'm free. Feel like the party for me, what a party it'll be. Hands up if you feel like me. Let it go. This may be the hottest song that I ever wrote. I came from a city so cold. In Chicago, all heart so cold. All right, this is your boy Bryson Taylor. You locked into the quest, and right now I'm interviewing recording artist Dwayne Marks. So Dwayne, what's, what's going on? How long have you been running? Um, it's up and writing since I was uh, about 12. Well, yeah, and um, I think I guess I've been, been recording kind of on my own here and there, little little songs and demos since I was like 16, so 28 now, so you kind of do the math, it's like, I can't do the math, but um, yeah, it's like, you know, it's 12, 12 years of actually like recording stuff, but a lot longer as far as you know, actually like writing. Right. So, so uh, who are your, your musical influences? Who do you look up to that's in the rap game right now? Uh, right now? Or, or, or period. period. Just period. Um, it's, you know, just, you know, music for me is so broad and kind of even just kind of bigger than just rap. And yeah. So my influences go back to like, um, you know, same people everywhere, Michael Jackson, uh -huh. um, you know, Stevie Wonder, um, you know, the soul from, you know, Anita Baker, um, to even like, you know, rock and roll groups like, you know, Genesis, and, um, and groups like that, and so it's just, you know, it's kind of broad, and, you know, right now, um, you know, more currently, I mean, as far as hip-hop, it was, you know, everybody from Pac, of course, like, it was like a huge, Influence on me and like Run DMC, I don't know, Heavy D, uh, Nas, um, Scarface, the Ghetto Boys. They can go kind of go on and on, you know, as far as kind of where that came from. So, so your album title, Against the Wall, how did you come up with that? Um, Against the Wall just kind of you know, really speaks more so to like. Um, where I was feeling, I want to record that. My like, I was feeling like I was against the wall because, like, you know, you listen to my CD. Um, it's just kind of a, it's kind of a blend of, um, you know, like my relationship with God and just my love for music, the, the life I lived, um, you know, the life, my life in the present, and like, you know, you know, they you know the expression like in between a rock and a hard place. And I feel like, you know, I'm not on one end where, like, I bring all, like, you know, my street background into my, my music. It's, it's influence in there, you can hear it, but because my life has changed and I've, like, you know, matured, and, um, you know, as far as where I'm at and my relationship with, you know, with God and, you know, being a disciple of Jesus, I just, you know, I feel like it's not really Christian rap either. So it's not Christian rap, but it's not, like, you know, street gangster rap and so like rock in a hard place trying to reach everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, feel, so, I'm, so I feel like as my music's trying to reach everyone, like I'm kind of like, you know, against the wall because maybe on the title track is like, I'm not too loud, not too right, too this, too this, but like, you know, I'm kind of like against the wall. And so it was like kind of a pressure built album to try to like establish myself and like build my own niche and what I wanted to do.
So was you when you first started rapping? Did you feel like you had to had a street rhyme and be gangster about it when you first started writing? Oh, oh yeah. Um, you know when I first started, you know writing. I mean I was you know 13. I mean you know um, I was born in um, East Chicago, Indiana. It's right between. Gary, Indiana, right between Chicago. So I grew up in an extremely violent, um, you know, setting. And so even if you don't get all the way into it, like it, it gets to be part of you. And then you know, then moving to Milwaukee, and you know, middle school and high school here, um, I just, you know, I just live life like, you know, any other, I guess, young black dude, and just you know, a lot of stuff you take in and make mistakes and good and bad and so you know a lot of my music was just reflective of a lot of stuff that you know I saw going or going going around going on and um, things that I was involved in so I just feel like you know uh, it was the kind of music I listened to you know yeah. like and it's a rap like really is, was there any other type of rap to me that was out not really like yeah. there was a lot of conscious stuff but like you know gangster rap beats was hard hitting and stuff and like it was like reflective of like who I felt um, you know, I was, and so I just, I just wrote life according to how I see, saw it and was raised in it. It was, it was just gangster rap, and so it wasn't so much I felt like I had to, but it felt like that's what I knew. Yeah. You know, that's what it was. That's my life. So I'm just writing what I know. You know. So what tracks did you enjoy doing the most? Um, what track? Actually. The the funnest track on there was uh, actually Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer. Yeah, it's, it's towards the end. It's actually about um, you know my life and <laughs> Silver Surfer. You seen Fantastic Four mm -hmm. about about his life, and uh, it was the funnest because you know I got a chance to bring some of like the X Men comic book geek out of me that you really don't get a, a chance to. You know I think a lot of us aren't really into the stuff. We were gonna hope to get a chance to do it. And so, you know, I, I took a lot of the stuff from my life and a lot of stuff from his life and kind of melded it together. Like, you know, him basically being alone and in darkness and um, really not having a home and people not understanding him. And I took that and I just kind of messed my life and his life together. And then it's, it, it's done like over a real, like, hot rock and roll, like, electric guitar. And so that, that was really cool to be able to do, like, um, you know, a track over that was really like hardcore rock, like with some electric guitar and this, um, drums are going. Cause it's not, it wasn't a typical like rap song. And then the concept was so way out there that you now you just kind of be abstract, just have some fun with it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how long did it take you to finish the CD? Um, I say about nine months. Um, as far as like writing and recording, nine months. I, I probably could have been done a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. Um. But, you know, I'm, I'm uh, I go at college too at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, uh, UWM. So I'm in, I'm in school too. Uh, and it's just going back and forth and trying to balance because, like, I just try to, like, excel at everything I do, so whether it's school or work or music. So I try to devote time to each thing. So I took my time. Um, the album was longer. I cut some songs in half. I, I, you know, I executive produced it. You know, as far as the direction, and I had a friend of mine help me with the direction we wanted to go. But we came down with mixing and mastering. I just, you know, pretty much just, you know, started to executive produce it myself. And so I'm real like um, meticulous and perfectionistic when it came down. So I just really took my time. And kind of turned it out, so I say about about nine months. Nine months. Yeah. So, what advice would you give a young, expiring rapper? Um, you know, for me, like, kind of being um, where I'm at right now, like, having, um, having finished an album and uh, what I feel like is a real powerful piece of artwork, and. Um, you know, and not being in LA, not being in New York, New York. I was telling like, you know, wherever you are, just don't let you know anyone tell you you can't do it. And you might not be good enough at the moment, but work harder and get to that point, um, and then you can do it. And it might take quite quite a bit of time, but it's all about like commitment. You know, you can be committed to something, or you can be involved with a lot of people. 
I think are just involved with like music. They're not really committed to it. And that's like, I think that just carries in like a lot of different like areas of you know, people's life. And also, I just, you know, just be committed to it. So, this is your boy Bryson Taylor, chilling with Dwayne Marks, and you are locked into the quest. Frame of mind cold, seeing planet shattered. I wonder, does it really matter? Part of my life I'm reaping got me disturbed deeply. Evil thoughts that have me prepared, they won't leave me. This is Dan, and you've been locked into the quest. Hi, my name is Shelby Wilson, and you are locked into the quest. Stand on it, credit like base. Everybody want a hand on it.